Happy New Year's, Yarnabies. How you doing? It is finally 2021. Okay, collective deep breath and out. Throw out 2020. We are starting anew. Uh, today, I normally would be doing my um, 25 days of new beginnings with Sandy at Left is Right Crochet, but we had a glitch. Uh, Sandy's package hasn't come yet. <laughs> so we have to wait a little while. We're hoping to get it before the middle of the month. So we're going to have to push it a little. Oh, well, what can you do, right? Um, yeah, so I am really hoping that 2021 is going to be way, way, way better than what we just went through. Uh, a lot of us went through a lot harder stuff than others. There was many losses, um, even just losses that aren't from COVID. Um, a friend of mine lost her son the day, the day before Christmas or a couple days before Christmas. It was really sad. Um, I just heard that uh, one of our Yarny sisters has lost her husband. Uh, I believe she she lost him um, uh, New Year's Eve. No, a couple, a couple days ago. But <clears throat> um, yeah, it's it's so sad. Um, so let's hope for new beginnings and get rid of all the crap from 2020. I know I'm ready to move on. How about you? <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Uh, I am drinking green tea, which I don't do very often. This tea is called Spot Tea. And this is the tea that I got from Rosalie in my 25 Days of Blissmas package. Thank you, Rosalie. It's blazing freaking hot. Ow. Mm. Ow. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, I, what was it uh, on the news or something? They're saying that nobody's making any New Year's resolutions. Well, duh. You know, what's the point? <laughs> what is the point? Um, yeah, I'm not making any. Uh, so I never do though. I'm not a big New Year's resolution person because I, I'm not very committed to stuff like that. Like I, I can't follow through with that kind of stuff. Maybe I could follow through if I did like a crochet resolution of some sort. Like the nine, what is it? Nine projects to do all year that Seta does. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to start off with Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. Usually I do that more towards the end, but I'm going to do it now because I was, uh, I, I don't know. I, okay. If you haven't seen Lisa from Lisa's Crochet, go check out her channel. She's freaking hilarious. Uh, she is the next recipient to the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a link to my playlist called the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. And there's also a list of the people down below that have received the hook. And it's basically I sent out a furls hook for YouTubers to try uh, that have channels so that they could do a review on it and tell us what they think. And it was a way for me to bring the sisterhood together, uh, our Yarny sisterhood together to um, kind of make up for stuff, right? Like give us a, a sense of more community uh, with Stitch Fest being canceled and then the whole COVID thing and everything. A, a lot of people were really, really down. And so this was kind of my way of saying, hey, 
you know, we're still together. We're still here. We still love each other. And um, yeah, so go check out those, that link down below. So anyways, Lisa got the hook <laughs> and she opened the package and started to bawl her eyes out when she read the letter that I had written to everybody. I'm sitting there watching this video. I'm bawling my eyes out. I'm sure there was a few of you out there that watched her, her video and did the same. Um, and she didn't have a clue why she was crying. So she text, I texted her and I says, Hey, are you okay? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I don't know what happened. It just happened. I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> I says, honey, it's, the energy, the energy of the package, right? All the sisters before you, we, they all put energy in that package and you're feeling the love, right? And there may be some people out there that don't believe in that and that's okay. But I am a, a firm believer. And um, so, yeah, so she was so emotional when she got the package and she wasn't so emotional when she tried the hook. Um, <clears throat> she, I, she, I, she really doesn't like the hook. Um, she was getting pains all up and down her arms. Uh, she was trying to, you know, do some funky stuff with her arms, um, to try and figure it out. It was slipping in her hands. Um, and I totally get it. I totally get it because when I first got the hook, I was doing the same thing. It took me a good two weeks before I could actually figure it out. Um, you're using totally different muscles in your hands when you're holding this hook and it will radiate down your arm. Um, but once you get, it's like working any, any muscle, right? Any muscle that you work for, you know, a, a period of time, um, you're going to start working the muscles in your hand, your arms and your hands, right? So, uh, yeah, she was not happy. <laughs> she was not impressed and she was so disheartened and it's okay. It's okay. Not everybody is going to like the hook. And that's another reason why I did this was so that people could try it out and, you know, before they buy it, um, they are expensive hooks. So, like that hook is 33 American. It's like 50 something for Canadians. And then you've got the shipping cost and everything on top of that. So yeah, it, it's, it takes a long time to get used to doing it's, you know, when say you've never worked on a computer before and you're doing this all day, same thing. You're going to get pains and aches that you've never had before you know, trying a different job, you're going to get pains and aches that you never knew you had. Uh, it's the same thing with this hook. You know, it's, it's just all getting used to it and figuring it out. And I, I actually, some of the hooks are very slick. And what I do is I put hand cream on before I use the hook. Some of the streamlines are like that right? They, they are very slippery. Um, but I hold my, my hook like a pencil. I don't have a pen here or anything. I'm a pencil grip. She's a knife grip, right? Knife grip holders seem to be having the most trouble with this hook. Um, and I, I think the hook was pretty much built for knife holders because of the, the bulbous, um, um, handle. So yeah, it's, you're going to get pain in here, right? Because you're holding it different. You're holding it different. But I found after a while I built up this muscle and it built up the muscles in my arms and I was good. I love the hook, but like I said, not everybody's going to. Let's see how she does in the next couple weeks. Don't give up, sweetheart. I know it can be painful. Um, but yeah, I, try putting ice on your arm I, or heat one or the other. Uh, that helps. Okay. So yeah, 
yeah so that's gonna be fun <laughs> that's gonna be fun oh i didn't bring him in darn it hold that thought sorry about that totally forgot to bring this in i ordered uh, a couple of bowl cozies from billy she showed this fabric and i would emailed her right away and says i want that fabric <laughs> <laughs> I put, I have dibs on that fabric um, and it she didn't disappoint of course Billy never does um, so she sent me these bowl cozies look oh is that up right side up yeah look at that oh look at that these are stunning stunning um i got two of them and this is the new template that she's been using and you know what i love this template more than the old template um they seem to be bigger and they yeah i really like this template i'm gonna have to get more because they are wonderful i love them and then sorry my, my dog has been barking ever since last night I'll explain all that in a minute. Um, and then she gave me a bag. Look at this. Oh, isn't that just stunning? I love this. And it's a drawstring bag. Now, I, to be honest, I can't remember if I purchased this or if she gave it to me. Um, I thought I could just got bowl cozies. I could be totally wrong. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've been doing so much shopping. It's I, I'm losing track. Uh, but look at this. Isn't this? It's got a handle. And then she's got a little stitch marker. But this, oh, this fabric is gorgeous. I, oh, I couldn't be happier, Billy. Thank you so, so much. Um, we've already used them. So, <laughs> This one's a little bit dirty. <laughs> Just saying. Um, yeah. So, yay. Thank you. Uh, what else am I? Oh, right. Um, a lot of people were asking me about the uh, tea towels that my sister was making. They are up in her Etsy shop now. Okay. They're these ones. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're up there. They're $20 Canadian. And that is everything. $20, that includes shipping and the whole kit and caboodle. Okay. Uh, one's already sold, already on its way. Excuse me. Um, so I will leave the site right here. Or I'll leave the link down below. Up above? Down below? I don't know. I'll leave it somewhere. <laughs> it's called Cawing Crow Creations. And it's on Etsy. So, yeah. So, I'm so excited. She's saying, do, should I make more bags? Should I, like, what should I do here? I'm going to hold off until I get the tassels. The tassels still aren't here. I have some of her bags here still that need um, the grommet and the tassels. And... I don't have the tassels yet. It's ridiculous. The mail system has completely broken down for everybody right now. I don't know why. Even UPS. The boxes from Sandy are being sent from UPS. Like, why is it taking so long? UPS is usually really flows nicely and quickly. And like, I don't know what's going on. This is crazy absolutely crazy okay what else um what's this what is this this is a triangle scarf with a cowl now this is my first one that i've done Okay, um, 
it's got a very nice hanging cowl. Originally, what I wanted to do was I wanted to make this a hood so that you could pull it up over your, your head. But I ran out of yarn and I really didn't want to go to Walmart. I was like, no, <laughs> I really don't feel like it right now. So I made it into a, a big cowl. Um, <clears throat> this cowl is huge. So um, it's gorgeous on. And the nice thing I like about this is it goes over your shoulders. Uh, and then there's a dingle ball on the bottom. <laughs> I love it. I love the way it turned out. I love the color. Uh, the, this is actually, this yarn is actually the yarn that Petra from Petra's Happy Place sent me with the sweater that she made me. So it's Barcelona and the color is Heartbeat. And it's really funny because this color is way more pink than the actual sweater. The sweater is more of a wine red color. So I'm not sure if she sent me the wrong ball or not, but um, I, I just love the way this is. This turned out. It's just stunning. But the black is the um, premier, no, premium, ugh, Bernat premium. Yeah. And then I did a little bit in here as well. <clears throat> now, when my kids come, I'm going to get them to model this stuff and I'm going to take pictures. Okay. Because uh, it just doesn't do it justice on the mannequin, of course. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something else. <laughs> this is a sister of the other um, triangle scarf that I did in the Bernat Velvet, Bernat Velvet Stripes, which I will put a picture here. Uh, this one's a lot smaller. I didn't do it quite so big. Um, the other one actually sold. Uh, an old school friend of mine bought it and I sent it to her over the holidays and when she opened it, she said that she cried. I was like, what? <laughs> Why? She says, you know, you can tell that there's a lot of love in this. And I was just like, wow. Okay. So I was quite touched that she got so emotional over it. Uh, but yeah, so I've got the tassels on each corner on this one. I love the way this one turned out. The black um, just really made it pop. Uh, but yeah, it just gotta love that Bernat velvet. Like I, it, it's a quick type of um, project because it's a thicker yarn. But I mean, you guys, I mean, look at this, you guys. Oh. Oh, heads are rolling. <laughs> Look at this. Look how squishy soft this is. Like, oh, so velvety goodness. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Uh, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be making more. I have... A couple more colors of the Bernat Velvet. So yeah, I'm going to definitely, definitely be making more of these. So I'm so happy. <sighs> okay. Whoops. <clears throat> okay. Let's look at another one. Okay. This is a pocket shawl. Now, Somebody had asked me when I showed um, a couple of my pocket shawls before how much you chain, okay? There are tons and tons of videos out there to teach you how to do a pocket shawl and what you do. But this is what I do. 
this one is a lot smaller than the ones that I usually make. Okay. Just to show you. Okay. It's got, oh, it's got the pocket that goes on a slant and then it has the tassels. I love the way these pockets turned out. Okay. These are all my own, um, creations. Okay. Uh, this one would fit probably somebody that's five feet as a smaller person, you know, five feet, foot three, somewhere in there. When you get over five foot five, this probably would be like, you know, way too short. Okay. And I did that for a reason because I had someone say to me, you know, I love the pocket shells, but I'm just, I'm tiny. So I ended up making a smaller one. And so what I do is for people that are five foot five and under, I chain 200. Okay. Now that might seem like a lot, but I fold my, my, um, pockets up. I don't make the pocket. I fold it up and then I fold this over. Okay. So that gives you the length to be able to make the pocket. And my pockets are about 10 inches deep. They're big pockets. Okay. If you're making something for someone, or if you're making them for someone that's five foot five and over, then I would do 300. Okay. But just measure it out a little bit, right? Just measure from your shoulder down to the tips of your fingers, right? <clears throat> and that will give you pretty much from, you know, the length of where your pockets need to be. Okay. And don't forget that when you wash this, it's going to stretch, right? It's going to end up being longer then you're, then you made it. Okay. Uh, so keep that in mind because the, the yarn will relax. <clears throat> okay. So that's what I do, but I really, really love the way this turned out. And then the toggle, I don't know if you can see, I've got the toggle. I got these on, uh, Amazon. So yeah. And then you can see. Do, do, do. Okay. So that is that one. I'm just, I'm so happy with the way that turned out as well. Um, <clears throat> I am in the process of making another one of the um, triangle scarves with the cowl. Uh, oops. That's the one I just made. Hang on. I got my hook in here. Oh. Okay. So I'm in the process of making another one. Isn't that cord, that color gorgeous? Oh, loving it. Okay. I'm just doing the cowl this time, but I'm doing it in uh, the granny stitch. Let's see if I can put it on her and see. Oop. Oop. Okay. So there. So now I'm just working on the cowl. Um, I love this color. And this is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is the spindle yarn um, that I got from Fabricland. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And it, the color is cherry pie. Now, if you're in Canada, you'll have a fabric land. I don't know if there's fabric lands down in the States, uh, but I'm sure that you have something similar. Just maybe go on Google and look up spindle yarns and see what you can come up with. But, uh, just, oh, love, love, love this. The color is 
gorgeous. I'm actually thinking about going back to Fabricland and seeing what other colors they have of this because this is the color that grabbed me right away. And I never even thought to look at other colors. <laughs> so, but yeah, I just, oh, the cowl is going to be different. Uh, it's going to be a bit lighter than the other cowl. But I think it's going to be pretty just... And I've got lots of oh, lots of this. Oh, now I'm dropping stuff. Oh, sorry. Um, this is the what? Hang on. Um, this is the Craft Smart Value that you get at Michaels, and the color is parchment. I love this color. It goes with so many things. Uh, it, it's just a very versatile color. It's not like a stark white and it's not like an off white. It's, it's a beautiful color. Uh, and it really sets off the other colors that you put it with. So yeah, loving it. So I've got a lot of this. So I'm going to try to actually do the hood this time. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. <laughs> okay let's see what else okay this one I'm not finished yet this is the regular sized um, 300 stitch pocket shawl that I usually do um, I still have to do the pockets like I have to stitch them up I'm, I haven't got them stitched up yet but and I think I'm trying to figure out what yarn I used for this. And I'm thinking that it was cookie yarn from Hobie, but don't quote me. I honestly, I, once I get something pretty much finished, I just out of my brain. Um, I'm looking at all my yarn and I'm going, ah. uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I think it was cookie yarn. I could be totally, totally wrong. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I did the bean stitch with this. Doo -doo. There we go. Double crochet in the bean stitch. And the pockets are going to be just a plain pocket I'll put a, a button here or something so yeah I have to finish that one this one is for a tall person like a six foot woman or whatever um five foot nine something like that 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 would this one would work out well for for her so yeah so that's that one I'm on this pocket shawl kick I don't know it's weird Okay, now, remember on my other video, my last video, when I was telling you that I got the Premier Serenity uh, Big Ombre in my Premier, nope, in my Hirschner's package <laughs> that George gave me for Christmas? Well, this is the one that I was trying to tell you that I got before. And, you know, when I first got this, I was like, orange, yeah. Like, I'm not sure I like this. I don't know. But you know what? This is not orange. This is pink. This is totally pink. All right. And remember how I said that a ball had one of these has a lot of yarn in it and you can do a lot with it. And I called out Rose <laughs> from Rose Lakes Crochet. Well, she sent me a message back and saying, I have that yarn. I just don't have it in purple. Wow. <laughs> you know, really? You got to get that. <laughs> I can't imagine how that purple is going to turn out in a project. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay. So this is what I did. I did a, a big cowl hang on I did a big cowl big fluffy cowl like okay like that's a fair sized cowl this you could double up okay 
And then I did a hat. And this has baubles in it. And we all know that they can be yarn eaters, right? So here's the bobble hat. And then I made fingerless gloves. This fingerless glove um, tutorial I got from Alt Knots, um, except I put uh, a little thing around the thumb holes so that you could find the thumb hole. <laughs> I love this pattern. They are just so squishy soft. And I did this all with a eight millimeter hook, I think. I think the cowl, I think I did with a 6.6 .6 or something. But yeah, it, oh, George is trying to call me. Sorry. Sorry, guys. So that is a lot to get out of one skein like and i still had some left over crazy 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 so yeah i was really happy with that i'm gonna get so many projects done with all of these skeins of um ombre big ombre big ombre yeah <laughs> chunky ombre uh, so yeah, I was really happy with that. Okay, now I've been busy, you guys. I'm, I'm really busy. So my daughter, my oldest daughter, out of the blue said to me, um, like she, I, I posted a picture of some fingerless gloves that I had done. <laughs> and bless her heart, she says to me, Mom, I didn't know you made fingerless gloves. Normally, I would say I don't. But now that I found this Alt Knots um, pattern, I was like, that is so easy. Like, I can totally make those. And now I'm like, yeah, I'm making those. <laughs> so she says, well, she's a huge um, Vancouver Canucks fan, hockey fan. And she says, can you make them in Canucks colors? <sighs> probably <laughs> this is like another Seahawks thing for me uh, so I did I went to Michael's and I found a couple of things but the first set that I found was not the colors the Seahawk colors but that's okay so here is the hat that I made and this is, yes, it is homespun, but it turned out so fluffy and, and wonderful. So that's a slouchy, okay, <clears throat> totally not the right colors, but they turned out really nice anyway. Then I made a headband, a, turby, tur a turban headband, okay. And I made some fingerless gloves. Okay. Now, I wasn't happy with the colors. I, they're great colors, but they're not, they're not um, Canucks colors, like even a little bit. So I went back and I found this. And I haven't even put my tag on it. Oh my goodness. These are definitely Canucks colors. Okay, uh, Charisma? No. Impeccables? I think this is Impeccables. So I made her a hat and I made her some fingerless gloves. Uh, I didn't make her a cowl out of this though, or I mean um, a headband though, because I Honestly, I don't know if she'd wear a headband. So, but yeah, so I made those. So now I got to wrap, <laughs> but she's probably going to watch this video. So she sees, so there you go, Ashley, they're done. <laughs> but I'm going to give her both sets and see if she wants to wear them because like both of them, 
If not, that's fine because I can always sell the other set. Provided that we actually have craft fairs this year. So, okay. I have an accus accu accusation. Mm -mm. <laughs> Acquisition. There we go. <laughs> I... I can't remember how I found out about these. I can't believe I've never even heard of these. But uh, they are self-threading needles. Who knew? So I got myself like eight packs of these things. And can you see the hook here? Um, so you basically just put your thread on it and it threads itself. It's got a little attached. So you, no more, you know, oh, my eyesight is so not good when it comes to stuff like that. So I went and I bought, I bought a whole bunch of these <clears throat> and I'm hoping that they're going to work. I haven't tried them yet. So, and then I was br a brainiac. I started trying to do transparent thread to put my labels on what was I thinking <laughs> uh yeah that's not going so well so that's it guys I think that's that's everything I did da -da 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 -da. yep I did everything so there you have it guys I hope you you had a wonderful and safe new year's uh i tell you last night was the noisiest new year's eve that i've ever heard here i've been here in nanaimo for 10 years and i have never heard it the way it was last night the bc fairies horns were going off um boat horns were going off people were outside with fireworks and pan, pot and pans clanging and Bailey was going ballistic. Uh, George was in bed and I was trying to calm her down and he finally got up and was just like, you know, what was I thinking trying to sleep? <laughs> I was like, I know, I'm sorry, but it was crazy. I have never, never heard it like that before. I can tell everybody it was so happy that 2020 was over. Uh, it's going to be a long road still, I think, for us to get back to some sort of normalcy. But you could tell the energy in, like the the in the air, was electric. It was it was nuts. I haven't heard that since I was a kid. I remember when when I was little, we get out and we do the pots and pans and everything. And every year, I'm so disappointed that we don't have that here. This year, it came out in just craziness craziness midnight and the fairies are going nuts i was like what is happening <laughs> so yeah it was it was cool it was cool uh almost made me cry <laughs> so okay so that is it guys for me so thank you so much. Uh, my next video will probably be a yarn fairy video where I get the other package, hopefully, of yarn that George got me for Christmas. And hopefully soon, I will have another yarn fairy with Sandy's from Left to Right Crochet's box. <laughs> <So> <laughs> okay, guys. Or No, that won't be a yarn fairy. That'll be a New Beginnings video. So... <laughs> So hopefully uh, you will join me for that. And thank you for joining me this time. Thank you to all the new subscribers that I've gotten. Um, I appreciate you coming. And I hope you find that my videos uh, will keep you coming back. Okay, I love you all. I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.